Hey folks, today on Vibes History, we are going to be listening to Bobby Hutcherson. This is the Lee Morgan record called The Procrastinator, which was actually recorded in 1967, but was never released until 1978. This album is incredible. It features Wayne Shorter, Herbie Hancock, Ron Carter, Billy Higgins, and Bobby Hutcherson, along with Lee Morgan, of course. We're going to be listening to a tune called Party Time. We're going to listen to the melody, and then we're going to focus on Bobby Hutcherson's solo because it is incredible. The solo is 48 seconds long. It's, it's incredible. So here's the tune, Party Time, by Lee Morgan. <laughs> Okay, so it's a 12 bar blues in the key of A flat minor. Not the most common of key centers for a blues. And it's got a very standard one to the four and then back to the one and then we have the flat six to the five to the one. It's a very straight ahead. Some of the things I love about that melody are the fact that it really outlines the arpeggios of the chords. For example, especially on the E7. <laughs> Those melodies, they're not trying to be fancy at all. There's no upper structures. It's all just like, here's the chord. We're just going to like put some cool rhythm on it, and this is going to be bluesy as all hell. The comping that Herbie does in the background is also incredible. That probably could be its own analysis. All right, so let's fast forward to Bobby Hutcherson's solo. Here we go. One, two, three. I don't know how you get any better than that for 48 seconds. It's so great. First thing I want to point out, check out Herbie's comping. Herbie does not change the rhythm of his comping throughout the entire chorus. He is just laying out the red carpet. Right about here. Let's check out some of these amazing moments in the solo. Very just on the pentatonics, on the flats. That is a D major 7 triad with an E major 7 triad stacked on top of it like this. This is an E flat minor triad, D flat major seven, G flat major, and then an A flat augmented shape. And that's a little bebop passing. That's a lot of B flat minor sound. It's kind of like superimposing B flat minor, E flat minor, over the A flat minor. 
That is a cool phrase. Just on the one chord, and he's playing a D minor 7 shape, followed by an F minor 6 shape, followed by a B flat minor 7 shape. It turns that A flat minor chord into a version of an A flat 13 with a flat 9 and sharp 11. And then at the last minute, he also throws in this tritone sub. A flat 13, sharp 11, flat 9, but the tritone sub would be D7. But he plays a D major 7 shape. That, okay, so now we're on the 4. C sharp minor or D flat minor, and he plays D flat mixolydian. And then with the little harmonic minor end of the scale. And it doesn't even go to there, he actually fools you again. He goes. So you get a chromatic, a chromatic lower neighbor tone to the upper neighbor tone to the fifth, which is just a wild mix of modes there. I can never not see Super Mario jumping and getting a coin when I hear The shapes that he uses there are really cool. So the ending And that's just an E major triad in first inversion and then That's on the E flat 7 chord and then so again, this E flat minor shape that he uses over the top of the A flat minor. He does another one of those Mario jump things right there. 